So we're now just a few hours away from the release of the first update to iOS 18 that will finally bring the new Apple intelligence features to iPhone. And that of course only to the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max and the new iPhone 16 series. But of course there will also be other features that will be available to other devices as well. Of course these are non-Apple intelligence features. So with this update coming, what are a few things that you need to know and you need to do right after you update your device to the new iOS 18.1? In this video, I will show you guys a list of eight things that you need to do once you have this new software update installed on your iPhone. Now, first of all, if you have updated to iOS 18.1, through the beta program which means that you have updated to the betas and then probably to the rc release of ios 18.1 which means that you won't be getting the public release because you already have the final version of 18.1 I would suggest the first thing you want to do, of course, if you don't want to continue with the beta program is go to your settings, go under general right here and then go to software update and make sure you go here to beta updates and turn off the beta updates for your device. Of course, if you don't want to continue with the beta program. Now, right here under the general setting, there's another thing that I suggest you do always when you update your device. Make sure that you don't have any carrier updates left there. So usually when you get a new software update, which is a big release like this one here that we have 18.1, then most likely most of the carriers will also push updates. So to install those updates, all you have to do is go to the general settings and go to the about section. That's all you have to do. You go there, stay there for about 10 to 15 seconds. And if you have a carrier update, it will pop up on the screen. You just tap install and in a couple of seconds that will be done. You don't need to do anything more. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you have all your apps up to date. Now, always when we get these big releases, most of the popular apps and the bigger apps will also get updates. They will be updated to be like better compatible with the new software update. So I suggest you always make sure that you have the latest versions of each of these apps installed on your device. To do that, of course, it is very simple. You head on to the App Store app, go to your account, and right here under the update, just make sure you tap the update all button. Now, of course, you also have another method which doesn't require you to do any work at all simply by going to settings. Then under the App Store, you can just go ahead and enable here auto updates, which means that your apps will be up to date all the time without you having to do that manually. Another thing I suggest users they do once they have updated their iPhone to a new software release is check their battery health. The reason for this is that most people will very rarely update their device. So from one update like this one, iOS 18.1 is here after like, maybe more than a month th since the initial release of iOS 18 and that in during that time your battery health will of course drop but most of the time iOS won't actually display you the battery health on its current state it will display the real battery health once you have updated your iPhone because at that time when your iPhone is updating iOS will recheck all the components of their iPhone and will actually show you the true battery health. So if you have a battery health with a maximum capacity around the limit, so let's say at 81 or maybe 82, I would suggest that you go ahead and once you have updated, check the battery health and see because there is a very high chance that it have might have dropped actually under 80%, which means that you will have to replace the battery of your iPhone or you won't get the better performance out of your device. Now for iPhone users that have an iPhone 15 Pro or the new iPhone 16 series, then another thing you wanna do after you have updated to iOS 18.1 is turn on the Apple intelligence features. The way to do that, go to Apple intelligence and Siri here under settings. First of all, what you wanna do is under language here, make sure that you have selected English right there, English United States, and then you go ahead and enable it right here. And this is when you have enabled the Apple intelligence features of the new iOS 18.1 on your device. Now, another thing you might wanna do here is go to talk and type to Siri and then you will have here a button for type to Siri. Now we have a different method here with 18.1. You don't have to use either one or the other. You can still use talk to Siri, but when you want to type to Siri, simple double tap right there. 
so that's pretty easy to do and of course way more convenient a lot of times you will need to actually type to Siri you don't want to speak maybe you're in public or somewhere that you cannot speak you can do that again here simply by double tapping on the button right there and from anywhere you are you don't need to be on the home screen now another big feature with iOS 18.1 is the ability to now summarize notifications. That's a pretty cool feature. So you need to turn that on by going to notifications here and you will have here summarize previews. By enabling this, you will see here a list of all of the apps that you have on your device. Now this will of course work with every notification, with every app and also other notifications that are not from apps like you can see right here the apple watch keyboard or in this case from game center and you can choose here to turn them on or off or you can individually pick for which app you want to have summarized notifications all of these here on the list you can just go ahead and turn them on or off from here now another thing you might want to do is head on to your control center and try out all the cool new toggles that apple has added for the control center so we have a few here you can finally remove the connectivity widget from the control center if you don't want to have that where you have to press to actually expand it and get all your controls you will you can now have each of these controls here individually on the control center you can see i have them here so we have the bluetooth finally we have the airdrop as well and we'll have some new ones like the measure one that apple has added for the control center so go ahead try to explore the control center all the new toggles and if you just want to have the connectivity buttons right on the control center make sure that you add them individually it will actually be much much easier to use them you don't have to expand that widget anytime you want to turn on or off anything there so it's actually pretty cool and you finally have all the connectivity toggles which are all of them separated and you can add them one by one and last but not least, as usually, whenever you update to a new software update, I always suggest that you go ahead and check your privacy settings. This is a great time to check your privacy settings. And of course, you can do that by going to settings. You will have here privacy and security. And you will have a few things, of course, location services. If you keep it on, then go ahead and check here the location services. Check the list of apps. See which apps have your location all the time, whether they have precise location or not. You know that the best practice is to keep like precise location turned on only for the navigation apps or maybe the apps that you use while running or something like that other ones don't use precise location then you have of course other things here that are really important like of course your files it will be your contacts and then right here your photos and all the things that you actually have on your device and then lower here you will have like things like the bluetooth the camera and right here the microphone these are things that are really important you need to always make sure that you check this list and see which apps are able to use these things on your devices so you want to make sure that you don't have there an app that you don't want to have there and of course if you do make sure you turn them off so that's pretty much it for this video guys ios 18.1 is a great update especially if you have a device that supports the new apple intelligence features but even if you don't there are some pretty cool new features and there will be also improvements on performance and battery as well actually battery in my case here it has been quite good with 18.1 so that's pretty much it make sure you subscribe for more ios 18.1 video hit the like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one